Hello. So today we will be solving the paper 2020 specimen paper 2 task 3 database. You are now going to prepare some reports using the related tables in the database. Make sure all the currency values display the same currency symbol and are set to two decimal places. So what you have to see here is it should be in two decimal places and all should have the same currency symbol. The first question is the import step. Using a suitable database package, import the file sp to apprent.csv. So we need to import this file. Use these field names and the data types. The field names, the data types and the format has been given here. Set the vacancy reference as the primary key, save the data. You are asked to set the vacancy reference as the primary key. So first thing, import step. You need to import the table sp to apprent.csv. For that, we will be opening Microsoft Access first. Open Microsoft Access. Give the name. You need to save all the files that you are using or uh, saving in your folder. So this is my folder, so I'll be saving it here. Okay, now a blank database is opened here. So the question is to app, import the file sp to apprent.csv. So first thing that you have to do is go to external data tab. There are two sections, import section and export sec section. You need to import the file. So we will be using the import section and click on text file browse desktop find out the folder sp2 apprent this is the file just click on that open click ok this will open the import text wizard it has got several steps this is the first step of import text wizard you don't have to do anything here just click next this is the second step of import text wizard. You have to do two things here. First, tick this one. First row contain field names. Click on advanced. Import specification. Here, you need to make sure all the things mentioned in the question paper is same here also. So let's open the question paper and see. Level is number. We can see title text. We can see reference text level number you can go for integer we can see title text we can see reference text then we have the closing date closing date it should be displayed as d d m m m y y d stands for date m stands for month and y stands for year an example was is also given so first thing i'm going to change it here dmy then here it's date and time itself duration number prop wage currency duration prop wage currency now Town text, employee name text, technical area text, trainer code text, day release, boolean or logical. Click here, day release should be selected as yes, no. After making all these things exactly like the question paper, we will be clicking OK. Now click next. This is the third step. You don't have to do anything here. Click next. Choose my your primary key in the question paper they have asked us to choose vacancy reference as the primary key 
So we will be choosing vacancy reference as the primary key. Click next. Import a table. I'll, give, I'll be giving the table name TBL just to identify it's a table. There should not be any space in the front. If you insert a space by mistake, it will show the name is not identified or naming pattern is not correct. So I've just given TBL SP to apprend finish. Close this. So if you have successfully imported the file, the name will be shown here. Some students will be getting import errors. If you're getting import errors, understand that you have gone wrong somewhere. Please make sure that you don't get import errors. This step is very, very, very important. Just double click here. You can see the table that you have imported. Make sure all the fields are fully visible. Here, day release should be displayed as yes, no. And date also we have to change. It should be displayed in DD, MMM, YY format. Okay. So I'm going to make these minute changes here. Go to view, design view. Let's take closing date, DD, MMM, YY. So I'll just take closing date. When you click on a field, its field properties will be displayed down here. Just click on the format. Click here. This one, medium date. Okay. Then, prompt wage, it should be currency. To display is currency symbol and set to two decimal place. Format. I'm going to choose any currency. I can choose euro, whichever currency you want. I can choose decimal places to then day release. Day release should be displayed as yes, no. Click on day release, format, yes, no. After making the necessary changes, you need to click save. And let's see the data sheet view, whether the change has got reflected. Yes, if you check, you can see the closing date. It is displayed as DDMMMY. And there is a currency symbol to decimal place. And day release, yes, no. So all the things are done. Now I'm going to close this one for that. There is an evidence, save the data. Take the screenshot evidence showing the field names and the data types used in the table. Insert the screenshot into your evidence document. So the screenshot that you have to take here is from the design view. Click on the view tab, design view. This screenshot you have to take. How to take the screenshot? Just click on the print screen button on your keyboard, open, Word document that is your evidence document. See the evidence number, evidence five. Click on enable editing, it's there. Evidence five. Just click below that. Control V. Yes, you got the screenshot showing the field names and the related data types. This is how you need to save the evidence. Evidence 5, step 20. Evidence 5 should be saved here. Step 20, evidence 5 here. We have saved it. Okay, this is how you need to keep the screenshots. Now the next one. Import the file sp2trainer.csv as a new table in your database. Set the appropriate data types for the data in each field. Set trainer reference as the primary key. Save the data. Take the screenshot evidence showing the field names and the data types used in the table. Insert the screenshot in your evidence document. So again, 
open your access file i'm just closing it now i'm going to import the file sp2 trainer again the same steps external data import section text file browse sp2 trainer open okay first step nothing to do in the second step first row contain field names and click on advanced let's see the telephone number the telephone number should be as text because we need to include that zero in the front of telephone number so we have set all the fields as text just click on ok click next this is the third step you don't have to do anything right here click next fourth step choose my own primary key let's see what is the primary key trainer reference so it's trainer reference here click next Again, the table name. I'm just going to rename it as TBL SP2 Trainer. You can give any name as you want. Finish. Close. So if you have successfully imported the table, the table name will be coming here. Just double click it and open and see. Yeah, you have got the telephone numbers here, contact names, the addresses. I'm just making sure all the fields are fully visible. Yeah, the table has been successfully imported. Done. So the import step is fine. Now, take the screenshot evidence showing the field names and the data types used in the table. Insert the screenshot into your evidence document. Open the access file, this table, go to home, view, design this is the screenshot this is the view design view where you can see field names and data type take a screenshot of this paste it in evidence 6 this is evidence 6 click here control v now we have pasted it here that's done now question number 22 Create a one-to-many relationship between trainer reference field in the trainer table. So the first table is trainer table and trainer code in the apprentice table. So there is a relationship between trainer table and apprentice table. The fields that are connected is trainer reference and trainer code. Just open your access file, go to database tools, relationships. So first we need to put SP to trainer, add, then SP to apprend, add. This is not fully visible, so I'm just dragging it down. All the fields are clearly visible now. Now. The relationship has to be made, made between trainer reference and trainer code. So just click on trainer reference. Keep your left mouse button pressed till it reaches trainer code. So you can see trainer reference, trainer code, relationship type one to many. Click create. So a relationship has been made from trainer reference to trainer code. Now place in a evidence document screenshot or screenshots showing one to many relationship between the two tables. So you can take a screenshot of this one. Open your evidence document. You can keep one screenshot as this one. You can also create take the screenshot of one to many click on edit relationship the screen will be coming or together you can take screenshot function print screen this shows that it is a one to many relationship done 
so we have made a relationship also thank you